Hey, air signs. This is going to be for Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius people. Um, I'm going to pick up on the energy of how you feel towards somebody and how they feel towards you. It can't possibly, possibly be for all air signs, but you'll know if it's for you. Number seven cards for air signs, please. This is just a quick weekend reading. I'm going to start on each sign, soul tie reading, but I'm doing a quick weekend reading by the elements. So can I get seven cards for air signs? This eight of swords came out in every single element. Like, it's ridiculous. So a lot of people are feeling kind of stuck when it comes to love or not confident in love at all. So the United Force is the Queen of Swords, which represents the air sign. So, but both people are pretty much being logical, or you could be dealing with another air sign, another Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a person who has dominant air in their chart. I don't know. Both of you could. Or either both of you are being very logical, very um, emotionally detached, not looking at the situation as very serious. At the nine of wands at the bottom maybe you've been wounded by this situation or love in general a lot so therefore you don't take what people say seriously or you don't do things based on emotions or you don't trust what people say or this person says i don't know because the eight of swords is how you see them so you see them as closed off they could be somebody who blocked you or somebody who you blocked out like literally blocked in your phone or just blocked out or are trying to block out mentally or you feel like they don't think about you or consider you so you could feel like you have something to say to them that could be kind of harsh or either that's how they come off towards you they can be very short or kind of rude with their communication when it comes to you because your issue is the five of swords either mental mind games or the things that they say or have said recently are just completely out of line with the five of swords being your issue you can feel like they're selfish in the way that they think only about themselves or or they talk to you in a way that makes you feel defeated or they have okay but how they see you is very sexy very attractive very vibrant someone who lights up a room or um, ignites very interesting conversation or somebody who makes them feel aroused one of the things that I said um, like sexually aroused okay how they feel towards you is a lot of deep love and emotions although I'm sure they don't show it they feel like they want you to open up to them. The seven of wands in reverse. They feel like you let go of this. Like you turned your back on this completely. You gave up on this. That's what the seven of wands in reverse represents for me. So. Why is this king of cups here? They feel a lot of deep emotions, but they don't know what to do with it. They don't know how to express it. Like, they don't know how they can make things grow, pretty much. How do they see Libra? Why is this Ace of Wands here? I mean, not Libra, not just Libra. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, whatever this is for. What fell on my lap was the Six of Wands and the Ten of Swords. So, like I said, they feel like you're done with them and you're receiving it. They know that you're receiving attention from a lot of people. Like, they know you have a lot of prospects. A lot of people find you beautiful or handsome. A lot of people find you attractive, see you as a catch, would see themselves as victorious for having you on their arm, pretty much. But if this was for you, I hope you enjoyed. If you got anything out of it, please like the video and subscribe. Um, I don't know if I said it, but this upcoming week, I'm going to do soul ties. How do they feel for each sign individually? But this is just a quick weekend reading for whoever it resonates with. 
but thanks for watching peace